Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your daily message. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I welcome all of you beautiful newcomers. I have noticed that a lot of people are subscribing to the channel. I got a lot of new faces, and I just want to welcome you. Uh, thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I'm so happy to hear that the messages have been resonating with so many of you and that you all enjoy the way that I read and channel the messages. So thank you so much for the love you've been showing. Continue to share that love in the comment section. Um, I welcome all of my beloveds that are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I send y'all extra love because I love you that much, beloveds. Um, we are going to delve in. Today, I'm going to give you two readings because I want to see what's on the light side of things and what's on the shadow side of things, especially now that we are a day um, away from the whole FEMA emergency. I just kind of want to take a peek on, you know, what might be hidden behind the veils. Uh, but we also want to shed some light on what good things may uh, be coming through for you as well. So I'm going to give you some bonus messages today. There will be two readings um, that I will post today. Uh, for anyone that may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudient. So the way that things work on my side of the planet is I play music and the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, perhaps this time stamp on this clock, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively and it all blends very beautifully. That is something that I brought to this platform. I've been hearing rumblings of other people trying to steal my style and trying to, you know, but there's, you know, I am the originator of that. I will just put that out there like that. I am very confident to say that because there was nobody else giving it up the way I was giving it up. And I'm not trying to be egotistical and I'm not in that air. I just want you to know that if you see others doing what I do here, this is the place of origin. <laughs> this is, I'm like the mother to their style, if you will. So, um, but I digress. Let's go back, reel it on back. So I'm also a timeless reader. So whenever my uh, videos have popped up in your feed, whether the timestamp on the clock, um, whether it's the thumbnail on the video, whether even if it's the title uh, that kind of drew you in and made you click play, um, that was divine timing and divine order that you've done so beloved. Uh, so my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If anything that I say in this reading doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force it. Do not try to argue with me in the comment section because I don't know your personal stories. These are general readings for the collective. If you are interested in booking a more personal reading, then you may do so by checking that uh, description box and clicking the link uh, to book your spiritual consultation with me. And I would be more than happy to take a little peeky peek, see what's going on in your world. So without further ado, we're going to dive right in. Beloved, we're going to proceed with the read, but you already know I got to pay homage, do some house cleaning. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Oh, so the time we have on the Kliz Ak is it is currently 357. That breaks down to 15, which breaks down to six. Six is associated with your first eye, beloved. So use your first eye to see. Use discernment when you are making decisions. Don't just jump the gun. Don't just, you know, respond or react without thinking. 
um, we have playing on the um, on the playlist is we have Nina Simone. This is uh, feeling good. So Nina Simone, someone could be dealing with Nina Simone, uh, first, middle, or last name. Uh, so I feel like, you know, um, and even don't do things because something may feel right in that moment. Use discernment, use your intuition, because I feel a sense of like, you know, it, it, it could be someone kind of rocking you to sleep or someone could be, um, you know, being very uh, cunning, if you will. You know, let me turn this down so I don't get a striz Ike. I don't want to get a striz Ike, beloveds. So I, I got to set this up. I'm not going to be able to keep showing you the name of the songs and the timestamp. I like to show and prove, but it's going to be very awkward for me to pick this up every time because it is charging as it's playing. So it's going to be very awkward for me to show you every time. But I am very like, I'm very anal. Like I, I, I like to show and prove. I don't just talk because I have lips. I'm a different type of reader. I don't just try to you know, sensationalize things. I really like, like to show you the synchronicities that occur throughout the readings. But today it might be difficult because I'm not using my phone. I'm using this big, um, iPad, you know? So, um, but as I said, you know, let me get back to the message at hand with that number six. It's also, um, dealing with that energy of like the lovers. That's a dual energy. That's masculine. That's feminine energy all represented on that card. And when you think of the lovers, there's an angel that oversees that union that oversees that partnership. So I do feel like with feeling good playing, um, perhaps that you are coming into alignment or you're coming into some sort of very sacred partnership or maybe a business partnership, and you're going to feel very good about things perhaps initially and spirit is telling you use discernment use your intuition before you sign your name on the dotted line your john hancock your jane hancock like don't just be like caught up in the moment or you know caught up in the rapture um because maybe there is something um deeper that you may need to investigate or something deeper that you may need to evaluate about the situation. So perhaps take a pause, take a step back and ground yourself, you know, find that balance within yourself. Don't just rush to make certain decisions is what I'm getting a sense of. I feel like spirit really wants you to take the time to meditate, to get something straight before you take action. Um, I'm also feeling with that six that there is a victory ahead, but I do feel it requires you making the right decision. Um, and to not get swayed uh, in a particular direction, but to choose the direction you're going to. Uh, going to take. So don't allow anyone to talk you into something. Make sure that it feels right, sits right in your spirit before you to you take action. Because I am getting victories, the six of wands that I'm seeing. I'm also feeling some of you are moving away. Perhaps you're moving to a new locality. Maybe you're packing up and relocating. Uh, maybe you're moving from one um you know, one part of town to the next or one part of the country to the other side. Maybe you're moving from the east to the west coast. Maybe you're on the west coast moving to the east. Maybe you're in the north, you're moving to the south. Uh, maybe you're in the states and you're moving overseas. Uh, but I do get a sense of like packing up and moving. And this is definitely um, going to bring a sense of balance, a sense of, you know, um, stability even. Uh, this is a, a decision I feel like spirit really wants you to take your time so that you could get it right. I feel there's a lot of moving pieces. Um, so you got to be sure to dot your I's, cross your T's. So that's what I'm picking up intuitively. Let's see what the cards have to say, beloved. Right now we have playing on the playlist. Um, we have, who is this? This is the temptations and this is called, have you seen her? So someone could be looking for you, feminine energies. Um, I feel like with that temptations, this could be someone that is like, uh, someone that tends to, uh, have you trapped. Uh, temptation is not a good energy. That's kind of like the energy of the devil. You know, the devil will tempt you to do things that you know better, uh, you know, to engage in. So that could be someone trying to tempt you to go backwards. Like, you know, if you uh, used to date someone that was a player, maybe someone is going to come back, you know, tempting you uh, to, you know, hey, you know, let's go out, you know, have a little drink and, you know, have a sit down, a talk. But if someone is really trying to straighten things out, they're not, the first thing they're going to do, not going to do is invite you out to get drinks so that you could be, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, debilitated in some sense, not thinking clearly because then that could lead to what sexual endeavors, you know, that could lead to something else. So if someone is really trying to, 
uh, reach back and touch base or they're coming from a place of purity, uh, they are just going to say, hey, let's have a conversation. They're not going to try to entice you or tempt you to do something. So that's why I was picking up that first eye uh, with that number six. We started off with six that deals with third chakra. Uh, I'm sorry. I said the six deals with the third. But hey, that's a correlation. The third chakra is your gumption. So spirit is saying use your inner wisdom. You know, that's also like your instinct, you know, it's directly connected to, to your mind's eye. So it's like, you know, use that inner wisdom, that inner gumption, uh, to make decisions. So we started off with six, which is your first eye or your third eye is what I was saying. Um, and so you spirit wants you to use discernment. Uh, someone could be coming in to tempt you, uh, with, have you seen her? Someone could be like, literally like flabbergasted with how attractive you are. You may have lost some waste. You may have, you know, just matured. You may have leveled up. You may have grown. You have emerged someone completely different and someone is very much intrigued or attracted, uh, or very much, um, determined, uh, to get you, you know, they could be having a conversation. I saw 11, 11. So I don't know if some of you all are just very attractive at this time. And you could be attracting both past people and new folks to you. So let's just, you know, tap in and see what the cards have to say. That's what I'm picking up intuitively beloveds. So what do we have? We have this number two on the bottom of the deck that says patience. So patience is a form of action Two also deals with the high priestess. So I do feel like spirit is telling you, use discernment, use your intuition. And two is also about duality. It's about balance. It's about being in harmony with yourself. So this is like that, that, you know, logical side and the emotional side of you has to be aligned. It's almost like the scale. So you can't be one, you know, too much of one thing because then you're throwing off the alignment. So I feel like spirit is saying with this patience, um, that's what, you know, good things take time to create. That's what patience is all about. Patience isn't about rushing to make a decision. Patience is about choosing wisely your course of action. So that's why we saw that six, because your discernment and your intuition will always lead you in the right direction. And with, have you seen her? Perhaps someone is secretly plotting, planning, preparing, patiently uh, to approach you uh, because someone likes what they see. I'm also getting a sense of like someone mustering up that strength or that courage, or this could just be someone who is uh, like, you know, very equally balanced with you emotionally uh, on your same frequency. Someone who has something to offer. This is an equal give and take as I'm getting the two of cups as well as the two of wands where someone chooses what they want because they have sat with it. They've gained some sort of, uh, you know, um, epiphany, if you will. So they're going to take action. What we have playing right now is George Michael and it's called careless whisper. Someone's name could be George or Michael. Someone could be from the UK, uh, with careless whisper. So someone definitely could be communicating with you telepathically. That's why I was picking up intuition also because the high priestess definitely is very intuitive, very psychic, very clairaudient, clairvoyant. She is definitely, you know, uh, she controls all the clairs, if you will, or he controls all the clairs if you're a high priest, but that's an energy of someone who really knows, um, you know, to go within. They, 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 have ancient wisdom, you know, maybe you are uh, a, a teacher of some sort or someone who is very skilled or very, um, very much tapped in psychically, uh, intuitively with the spiritual career. I absolutely feel like many of you will be pursuing a career, uh, that you are absolutely, uh, called to do. I feel like there is definitely this sense of like you really being very meticulous, very willful, determined, ambitious to pursue your goals. Um, you're taking your time to get things right. Even taking your time to master your craft, to learn as much as you can, to build your wealth of knowledge or your skill set. This is definitely an energy that is showing that you are working, uh, you know, very hard, you know, because this reduces to eight, these numbers. And so that eight is given like the eight of pentacles where, you know, you're very much focused, very work, you're working diligently. Um, as I said, very disciplined. You have your eyes on the prize, you got the eye of the tiger and, and you're being patient with the outcome. 
Uh, you know your hard work will pay off. You know that. Uh, with Careless Whisper playing by George Michael, I'm just getting a sense of like, you know, just trusting the rumblings within, trusting your intuition. Perhaps you may be feeling like things aren't taking off with a business or, you know, you're not getting the right responses when you submit your resume or you're having interviews and you're not hearing anything. And Spirit is saying, just, you know, stay the course because your hard work will pay off. I feel something will come in uh, very abruptly unexpectedly so it's just like the patience is really saying things are happening behind the scenes and you just have to trust the process and try to surrender to spirit surrender to the divine you know um surrender the that need to control the narrative you know what i'm talking about so let's tap in beloved let's see what's coming in going out going on with my beloved scorpio soul tribe soul family so there is a card that is sticking out and I feel like it's like, choose me. So this is like a bonus message. We have 44 environment. So whatever this is that's coming is right in your environment. It's right in your energetic field. It's like, it's right here. I was picking up it coming abruptly and here's another eight. And remember that was eight. Those cards broke down to eight. So whomever, whatever you're attracting to you is someone that's made in your likeness. There are double numbers. Whenever I see double numbers for my newbies is that tells me that you're attracting someone or something that's on your vibration. So this could be someone that definitely has has done a lot of emotional work. This is someone very emotionally intelligent, available, someone that's uh, also very grounded. This is someone that you may know from the past. This could be a past life love, past uh, love, or someone that you may be familiar with, someone you may have worked with, someone you may have gone to school with, someone that may live in your community, someone you may pass by every day uh, at the local grocery store, someone you may go to the same gym, frequent the same spaces. Um, with this green, the green is the color of the heart chakra and four is also associated with that heart chakra. So I do feel like this will bring emotional fulfillment, happiness, joy, elation. Just This is just an energy of fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. I also feel like whatever you're working on, remember we was picking up on that eight of pentacles. So whatever it is you're working so diligently on, whatever you're so focused on mastering, it is definitely going to lead to you having a harvest or carnucopia, uh, prosperity, um, abundance. You know, I just see things flourishing. I'm hearing the word flourishing in my mind's eye, but I also feel like you're matching uh, someone's vibration frequency. This is someone that you will have chemistry with, someone that you will have synergy with. This is definitely someone that will speak your love language and you theirs. And I just saw 8-8, eight, eight, which is 16, that's seven. So I definitely get a sense of someone is, you know, trying to, you know, assert themselves to approach you, to come towards you. Uh, this is someone who may speak or communicate with you uh, telepathically. Eight does deal with the strength card. So that is why I was picking up someone kind of strengthening themselves to approach you or to say whatever it is they need to say. Uh, the eight is also giving a sense of this being like a wish fulfillment or it will feel as such. Maybe you feel this way to this person or when this person approaches you or come towards you, they will feel the same way. We have 71 health here. So if some of you all were under the weather or if some of you all are recuperating from perhaps a surgery or some sort of operation recently, I do feel like you're getting stronger. I do feel like your health is improving. I'm definitely getting a sense with the eight eight, another 16, seven. This is showing that you are coming back into harmony and to balance with yourself emotionally, mentally, spiritually even. Um, and this is definitely going to propel you uh, forward. It's going to push things forward, upward, and onwards. I do feel like whatever blockages or delays are absolutely being, uh, you know, removed. Things are turning around in your favor. Uh, cause I am getting like wish fulfillment. I am getting blessings. I am getting happiness and joy and peace, but I also get a strong sense of you attracting someone that's definitely going to be willing to, um, you know, work together to collaborate, to build an alliance, a partnership, to nurture a connection. This isn't just going to be one-sided, uh, cause I was picking up with that too that we saw earlier like this is equal give and take so what you put in they're going to also match what you're putting in so this is an equal exchange of give and take it's just like building you know when you're building someone's going to put that cement down you put the brick they put the cement you put the brick that's how you build on a solid foundation i feel like your principles you know what you look for in a mate i feel like the you know you will have the same moral values uh you will still you both will operate from the same moral compass you will have likeness in terms of what you want in life, maybe what you're interested in, what you desire, maybe the places that you wish to visit, places you wish to reside. Um, I just get a sense of building together, building that legacy, building a family, building building a partnership. It requires two, and you both are definitely, um, 
emotionally available. I don't feel there's any uh, fears that are going to hinder this connection. I feel like there's definitely um, a sense of two people who are very solid in themselves, people who two people who have done a lot of internal work, who have healed from past pains, wounds, traumas, and even disappointments. We have Cool in the Gang, um, and this is called Fresh. So this is definitely going to feel fresh and new. It's definitely going to feel like um, something you've manifested. It may be something that you've never experienced before in a former relationship. So this is going to feel very refreshing um, is another word I'm hearing in my mind's eye. So with the 71 health, someone, you know, that you could be attracting because we are about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting. And it says 71 health. This could also be someone up in their head, kind of ruminating, pining, overthinking. This is a self-imposed, uh, you know, disposition. This is someone that's just, you know, constantly in their head. So it's like they need to really trust the process, uh, you know, and just kind of surrender to the divine, be open, be more receptive and express themselves, say how they feel. Perhaps, um, perhaps this is just someone, like I said, strengthening themselves to take action because that strength card is when you really, uh, uh, take control of your subconscious thoughts. You don't allow little seeds of doubt or seeds of fear uh, to to grow. You know, you kind of hush the noise, if you will, you know, silence the noise. So I do feel like someone is getting stronger and they will assert themselves. So let's tap in. So um, let's go ahead. Um, let me do some more shuffling because that card kind of chose itself. So divine spirit, peace, power, and protection. What's coming in for my beloved Scorpios? What's hidden? Who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting? And I see uh, pride. So pride and ego could be a part of this. That could be why I was picking up on the fact that like someone, you know, could be up in their head, you know, kind of like overthinking things. All right. So a couple of more cards were chosen and we have this nine completion. So nine represents the highest number of change. Nine is definitely showing me that someone is, you know, kind of like in hermit mode, you know, kind of in that introspective or contemplative space, uh, trying to figure things out, uh, looking back, looking in awareness, looking within, re, you know, kind of reevaluating circumstances. And that could be uh, how their strength is being built up is because they are perhaps noticing certain flaws or noticing certain things that they may want to change or that they are changing. You know, they could be working on themselves. That hermit is a wizard. He knows the answers he or she seeks are always found within. So there is, uh, you know, this is, a, um, this is an actual choice someone has made to go within, to do the work. Uh, two, 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 two on the clock. So that breaks down to eight. So this is definitely that same person I feel in your environment. And I do feel this distance um, because the train is going by. So there is distance. Um, nine is also showing, you know, the hermit is separate from the outside world. He disconnects from the outside world, as I said. So this is someone unplugged, detached, not communicating with others, someone very grounded, uh, but also who has established boundaries or someone who is um, very guarded, I should say, uh, with their energy. So who you're attracting to you is working on themselves. This is someone making changes, making moderations. And remember, I was saying nine is the highest number in vibration of change. So this is what's completing. They could be wrapping up a karmic cycle. There's definitely healing and recovery here because that green is the color of the heart chakra. And inside of the green symbol is that red. So that red deals with the first chakra, which is the base. So someone is really getting back to the root cause or someone could be redefining what stability and security and family is. Uh, someone could be rebuilding their lives after a tower moment. Someone could be really healing from past pains, wounds, traumas, familial traumas, childhood traumas, perhaps past life traumas. This is someone healing that inner child, making the necessary changes, healing and learning to love thyself, learning that love is an inside job. With this eight and this five, that's 13, there's definitely something transforming in someone or someone has gone through a major change. Someone has gone through some sort of startling metamorphosis and the change was, you know, kind of uh, um, inevitable. So it's like now there's this energy of someone that loves themselves now because the transformation, that 13, that death of the old version of themselves where they got rid of faulty ideologies and belief systems, habits, behaviors, people, places, things. That's why I was picking up again, like people could be moving, relocated, getting away, getting a fresh start. We had cool in the gang saying fresh. So someone could be having a fresh start starting over. But all of these cards break down to four, which means that there is someone now back in that heart chakra, someone who's opening up their heart again, or someone who has healed and learned 
to emotionally, uh, you know, show more intelligence, to be emotionally available. Perhaps maybe they weren't in a former relationship and that was the transformation. Perhaps someone is going to be more open to love. Maybe someone was closed off in the past, very guarded, very protective of their heart, but there's been some changes. There are some changes that have taken place. This is powerful. So this 13 shows transformation. I feel like you're transforming. Your transformation is bringing this in. As we said, someone is wrapping up a cycle, completing something. And they are in this, this space where they are in isolation to do this work. So this is a conscious effort to heal thyself, to work on thyself. Because when you heal thyself, you learn to love thyself. When you love thyself, then you know thyself. And this person now knows thyself. And that's what the heart, you know, that four, as I said, breaks down to, you know, that energy of the heart chakra. That also could be speaking to 1111 because I did see 1111 on the clock. Um, and that 1111 deals with that soulmate, that cosmic companion union, uh, and even the six, the lovers, when we started the reading that six, that's also uh, a sacred union, a spiritual partnership, you know, a, a very harmonious connection. So that's powerful. How they feel about you is their pride and their ego, you know, the pride and ego. Remember I was picking up someone who could be really just kind of stubborn or someone who's kind of stuck in their way. And now they're learning to make the necessary changes so that they can assert themselves. They're building and mustering up the strength. So this 19 is an ego death, the pride, the ego. This could be someone that was absolutely, um, you know, very, very, um, difficult, you know, maybe they had difficulty expressing or emoting themselves with the four and the one, this breaks down to five. So I do feel like they have difficulty communicating because in the last couple of readings, I was picking that up. We have, um, who is this, uh, earth, wind and fire. This is called devotion. So this is absolutely someone who has been learning to master themselves because this 19 breaks down to 10. So that's also like saying that there's a death you know, there's a transformation or maybe this is something that you may have triggered within this person is to kill the ego, to let go of the pride because it's not going to work in this circumstance. You're not going to respond well to someone who is very egotistical or immature or emotionally unavailable or emotionally, in, you know, um, stunted. It's like they know they have to kill that ego and they have to show devotion. They have to show that they're devoted to this connectedness connection and more importantly you have to show that they are going to be intentional with their actions so with all of these cards they break down to five so this is someone that has seen you mature whether you are a mature man now or you're a mature woman your maturation has encouraged this person to grow to heal to level up so that they can align with you because whatever or whomever this is that's been watching because uh, that remember we had someone watching you and I feel like you know even with the temptation you know, that does speak to, you know, I was picking up devil energy that could also speak to someone that could be perhaps obsessed or maybe possessive of you, this connection, or maybe someone who is just very attracted to you, uh, lusting after you even. Um, but with the five, I do get a sense of this person learning, uh, cause how they feel about you is you've definitely matured. Uh, the five deals with that hierophant. Maybe they have been watching you master your craft. Maybe you have started a business since you haven't spoken to this person or since you all have been uh, out of contact. Uh, if this is someone new, this is how you, ex you know, this is the uh, confidence that you exude or this is, this is who you present. You know, you present someone that is very wise. You present someone that is very mature, someone that's very experienced, someone that is very, um, you know, down to earth, someone that's very skilled in whatever it is you do. Perhaps uh, this person will reach out and communicate and express something that they desire to uh, say to you. We have, uh, who is this? Rolls Royce. I'm wishing on a star. So this person does see you as a star. This is someone that wants to follow their dream or follow uh, their passion uh, because this could be someone that's been, you know, kind of like you know, kind of like looking at you from a distance and, and, and you're aligning, you know, I feel with someone that will feel like a wish fulfillment or vice versa. If this is someone that you don't know, this is someone that you will feel um, that synergy and that chemistry with. Perhaps this is someone that spirit is aligning you with that has been through similar experiences. Someone that had has, has had to uh, grow through their own you know, experiences because the moderation just shows that they've been through some sort of transformation, same as you. So you're just aligning with a like mind. A like mind is someone who's been on a similar life journey as well, had similar lessons, same as you had to learn your worth and value. Someone also had to learn to, to value people. 
you know, maybe this is someone that wasn't aware. And I just saw 29, 29, which is 11, 11. So this is you absolutely aligning with your divine counterpart, whoever this is. And that four, like I said, this 44, eight, and this 14, five, that breaks down to 13, 13 breaks down to four. So that 11, 11 is the vibration of four. And that's also associated with the heart chakra. And what do we have here? Two cards that are green in color and green deals with what? The heart chakra. So this is someone whose heart is open. They're ready to love. They are definitely emotionally intelligent and they do want to communicate. They're going to put their pride to the side and they're going to express how they feel with I'm wishing on a star. This could be someone praying, wishing, hoping. This could even be you manifesting whomever this person is. Uh, this is definitely someone that may see you as well as someone very strong, someone very determined, someone that has really, you know, taken the time to purify yourself, heal yourself, balance yourself. You know, you're a co-creator with source. You may set your intentions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My laptop just fell. I thought it was going to fall on the floor. Water fell as well. Let me fix that. So yes. Yeah, so let's tap in. Let's see what's hidden. So that nine on the bottom of the deck is definitely showing that someone is wrapping up some karmic cycles here with wishing on the star. They could be calling you in. You could be calling them in. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection, maybe during, I keep hearing the, um, during the, um, that, um, what is that? Eclipse. Someone may be, you know, appearing. Okay. It didn't fall out. And, uh, we have, I would die for you playing by Prince. And this is from the purple rain album. So purple deals with the, uh, you know, the crown chakra. So trust your intuition. As I was saying with, I would die for you. This is someone that would be devoted, committed, loyal, faithful, trustworthy, 74 nature, get out in nature. Remember tomorrow is that, you know, um, that emergency, that FEMA emergency test. So remember what I was telling you all to not be in the house, trying to function, use your phones and doing all this stuff with the phones and getting into a panic and letting fear seep in, get out in nature, turn everything off, unplug everything, unplug the TV, turn the phone off, unplug your computers and go out in nature. Stay out there as long as you can. Go out, breathe in some of that prana, go out, walk barefoot, connect with mother Gaia, get that charge. Do not be sitting in the house, allowing these people to toy with your emotions and the frequencies that they're going to be sending out is really going to impact you. And I just really, truly want you all to just be strong. Do not focus on what they are telling you because it's all propagated. It's nothing. They're not telling you what's going on. That's why you have to have a connection to spirit, to the most high, to your angel, to your guides, because they will direct you. They will give you the information and information, the downloads and transmissions that you require. You know what I'm talking about? So with the, without further ado, let's proceed. So the 74, some of you all could have been born in 74. Some of you all could have been born, you know, 1111. You may be seeing 1111 a lot. We saw 1111 like two, two to three times in this reading alone. So this is definitely someone that you will have a natural bond connection. This is someone that you are aligned with spiritually, emotionally, definitely someone that you will feel like that, that synergy, as I said, that harmony, um, someone that will bring balance even in your life, someone that will ground you perhaps. Um, but I definitely feel this is justice. You're getting your just due. We have 56 that flew out. So this is 1111 again. I'm speaking to the 7411 and then this 56 flew out. So we have 1111. This is confirmed. Whoever you are uh, attracting to you, because this is what's hidden. If you're single, which most of you Scorpios are, some of you are, are finally coming into these unions that these readings are saying you're coming into. Um, so this is definitely showing that you're attracting someone uh, that you will, you know, uh, definitely, you know, come into some sort of partnership. This is not just any person. 3333 three, three on the clock we just saw. So your angels, I feel, are definitely conspiring to bring whomever this person is. And I absolutely feel like this is someone that you will give to equally. It will be a very reciprocal relationship. This will be someone that will be very intentional. This is definitely a healthy type of love. So you're going to have someone that's going to be communicative, emotionally available, emotionally intelligent, someone that has that adores you, that treats you the way you deserve to be treated, someone that sees or knows your worth, your value, someone that's going to appreciate and value you more importantly, but they are absolutely 
going to give to you equally. You know, this is a relationship change. So this is someone that's coming to take you off the market. What we have playing right now is Tina Marie, and this is called Love a Girl. So some of you all, this person is going to truly love you. And this is absolutely someone whose name could be Tina or Marie, first, middle, or last. I'm, I'm here in Buffalo, New York. I don't know if Tina Marie was from Buffalo as well. I know that Rick James um, found her and he really um, catapulted her, her uh career in music, you know, her music career, I should say. So I don't know if she was also from, from Buffalo, New York, or if he found her somewhere else, but, um, I know they were very close. They dated for a long time, loved each other, uh, to pieces and, you know, but, um, definitely I'm picking up Buffalo, so I don't know. Um, but here we have nine completion flew out as well. So this is uh, the outcome. So there's definitely a completion of a cycle. Something's coming full circle. Nine is the highest number in vibration of change. I also feel like this hermit is definitely going to now take action to go after what they desire, you know, because it's like he's had enough time to absolutely observe, analyze, you know, the circumstance or to look back in awareness. And he's gathered all of the information, information he needs. And if you think of that hermit card, he is in a cave and he's looking into a lantern that has the star. So I do feel that that star is the hope, the optimism. It is walking in faith, going after with your dreams, being very um, intentional with your actions. And also, you know, the star is, you know, it, it's every day speaking positive affirmations, daily mantras, meditating to get things straight, praying fervently. It's, it, it's a very, uh, it's, it's a, a um, you know, it's a praying energy. It's an energy that is, is determined, um, you know, to obtain whatever it is that it's asking for. So it's, it's going to be very dedicated to, you know, to that routine, uh, to whether it's being, you know, affirming what you want. Uh, maybe that's something you all do. You may do daily affirmations, speak positively over your situation, praying and, and meditating and, you know, whatever it is you're doing, there's an end because I feel the wish is coming. The wish is coming in because that nine could also be like the nine of cups. So this nine completion is showing that you have a sense of self-love, you know, your worth and you're more guarded and protective of your heart because you do know that self-love makes you more attractive. So with this 74, it says nature. So something that comes uh, like second, something that's second nature or something that just comes natural is absolutely uh, coming in or maybe a connection with someone will feel very natural. Um, like I said, there was chemistry and synergy I was picking up on, but with this love a girl playing still, I do get a sense of like love. Um, you know, this is going to be someone that's going to be a lover girl or your lover boy. This is definitely a very powerful connection I'm picking up on. So let's see, what do we want to use? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's. Spirit said tarot cards. Matter of fact, let me pull my deck. Let me use some cards I created. So, oh, wow. So, we have Fiery Wall of Protection by Archangel Mikael, Archangel Michael. So, that is very beautiful. So, this is definitely a lovely energy because we just saw, we saw a 333 earlier than we saw. Um, then we saw 11 11s. So that's just, you know, those are signs. Those are angel numbers. You know, uh, the angels are giving you angles, beloved. So this is definitely beautiful energy to let you know that you are divinely protected. Archangel Mikael comes in with the sword to cut you free from any yokes, hexes, spells. He brings in miracles. And that's exactly what I feel is coming in. This is why it's like in your environment. So this means that, you know, it's in your environment because you obviously wrapped up a cycle. So that's definitely, you know, showing um, that spirit. Spirit favors you. Spirit is absolutely favoring you, rewarding you, and recognizing. Okay, so these cards are all stuck in my hand, and we're going to take them. We have on the bottom of the deck, grounded, balanced, and aligned. And I was just telling you the importance of going outside in nature tomorrow, especially October 4th, is when they're doing that FEMA emergency signal, whatever. Don't listen to that nonsense because you don't know what type of frequencies they're sending out or transmitting. So be out in nature. Get away, you know, as much as you can from the nonsense. Turn off, you know, everything. Turn everything off. Unplug. You don't want none of that even in your house. You know, open up your windows. Like I said, take your crystals out and ground yourself. Take your shoes off tomorrow and ground and connect to Mother Gaia. Get that recharge. Get that your spirit rejuvenated. You know what I'm talking about? So we have where your attention goes energy flows. So this is what someone is doing. They spent, you know, they're, they're thinking of you so much that their energy, you may be picking up on their energy. 
You know what I'm talking about? Maybe you all are thinking of a particular outcome so much that, as I said, you're manifesting it. Because when you think of the eight, the eight is the infinity symbol sideways. So I do feel like you are manifesting, you know, setting your intentions uh, on something that you desire. And I feel like spirit is saying it's right in your environment. It's right in your circumference. So where your attention goes, um, good or bad, you know, your, the, the energy is going to flow there. So even when you're setting intention, even when you're tapping into your alchemical force, as that star energy does, she co-creates with source. If you look on the star card in traditional tarot, she is naked. Naked, which means that she's turned her vulnerabilities into a superpower. She's definitely learned to also co-create because she has, a, you know, her foot on uh, the, the earth and one in the water and she's balancing things. But if you look on the ground, it's like she's creating a new path, a new pathway. So this is a beautiful energy of a chemical force she's tapping into. She's like a sorcerer, if you will. And so it says where your attention goes, energy flows. Even if you're working very hard towards a project, like I said, I was picking up that eight of pentacles so it's like that devoted energy that willful and determined and and um you know um diligent energy that you're working in it's going to manifest it's going to produce something very powerful for you so that's a beautiful energy there i love it so what we have here is the word release so this is about releasing what no longer serves you and remember i was picking up whoever or whatever you are attracting to you this is the release remember we had that pride so someone is releasing things letting go of what no longer serves them hence the moderations the changes that they're making so whatever no longer serves you uh, you're going to get rid of it. You're going to let it go. Uh, like I said, faulty belief systems, ideologies, habits, behaviors. That's what he, this, the, he or she could be releasing. That's why there's a sense of someone maturing and growing because that 14 does break down to five, which means that someone is absolutely uh, learning perhaps from past mistakes or someone is just in a, a space, uh, um, an energy of learning, of self-improving. Next, we have be creative and artistic. So what did I say? Someone absolutely sees you as someone who is tapping into your divinity as a divine feminine, someone who's mature or a divine masculine, someone who's mature and you are being creative. You know, you could be someone who's like, you know, really tapping into your uh, artistic or, you know, even your uh, creative gifts um, and someone's pride is, is, you know, they're ready to put it to the side because it's like, you may be very busy, you know, you may be very like diligently working towards something. So it's like, you're not even paying anyone attention. You're just so focused, so honed in on what it is you're doing that someone who may have been kind of like, you know, allowing their, their stubbornness or their pride to influence the decisions and actions they make or take. Um, it's just like, okay, I, I have to, I have to be the one to initiate that, that first step or to take that first step. Uh, perhaps someone is realizing, you know, maybe there's a little sense of, um, intimidation even, but it's like, they're going to be very thoughtful, uh, with how they approach you. It's not just going to be like I said, someone asking you to go out for drinks, which is so typical. It's like, someone's going to be very thoughtful. They may ask you to go to a museum. Uh, they may ask you to go to a symphony or, uh, to go see the, um, what do you call that? To go to the, um, oh my God, uh, what do they call that? You know, to go watch, uh, I can't even get the word, but it's like, you know, the, 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 it's like they, the, the, they have the orchestra. Um, so it's like, it could be ballet. It could be something so out of the ordinary, uh, for you, but it's something that is very creative. It's, it's like they're putting thought into it is what I'm gathering. Um, so just be mindful, but I also get a sense of, um, you know, you may have someone who, who may be trying to be very, um, conniving even because we do have boys to men playing and boys to men suggests there is someone maturing. There is someone growing. And this could be someone who may, you know, like I said, with please don't go, uh, someone that could be trying to, you know, with the temptations I was picking up, someone that could be trying to, uh, convince you to do something that you otherwise shouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? So with please don't go, uh, someone could be asking you um, not to leave. Uh, this could be someone kind of putting their pride to the side. Maybe if you are moving, you know, um, but that's another download I'm getting. But, you know, as I said, this also could just be speaking to someone who is really going to be very uh, creative 
with, you know, whatever that first date is, whatever that first suggestion for a date might be. It may be something you've never done before. Um, so I'm getting a sense of that. Uh, I also have right now, um, new edition is playing. It's called N.E. Heartbreak. So someone could be leaving a relationship and someone could be begging them not to go. That's another download. So we got N.E. Heartbreak, new edition. And uh, someone could be in a relationship with someone and someone could be saying, please don't go, please don't leave. But they are ready to leave because there's a completion of a cycle. So whatever, whether this is someone begging you not to leave because I was picking up you, packing up and moving to the other side of the town, country, 4444, this angels are with you. So spirit is encouraging someone to leave. Spirit is encouraging someone also to use discernment to make the right decisions because this 56 relationship change that speaks to a choice and a decision. You know, this is about someone, you know, cause I'm seeing the two of wands where someone could be stuck at a fork in the road. Do I go after what I want or do I stay here? And because it's familiar, you know, or do I stay here because I feel obligated or do I stay here because I'm trying to appease and please, you know, it's just like, there's a decision. And with any heartbreak right after boys to men saying, um, please don't go. Someone could be having someone kind of begging them to stay and not to leave. And someone has to use their own discernment. That's why I was picking up the number six. Like don't allow someone to convince you to stay when you know deep down in your spirit, you don't want to go. I mean, you don't want to stay. The two also is the sacral. This is about moving to the beat of your germ and pi prioritizing your feelings, prioritizing what you want. Grounded, balanced, and aligned. You have to be in harmony with yourself and emotional equilibrium. So why is this 56 relationship change for my beloved Scorpios? And then we're going to rah, rah, rah. What did I say about being in harmony? You got yin and yang. And this is also saying that you, some of y'all need to leave the relationships you're in so that you could come into harmony with your beloved counterpart. And someone's going to be heartbroken. You know, but this is about you doing what's best for you now. You can no longer live a life you know, just, you know, appeasing other people or trying to go along to get along because it hasn't gotten you very far and you're not very happy doing that. So with this yin yang and relationship change, spirit is trying to align you with your divine counterpart, your soulmate, your cosmic companion. And this is going to break someone's heart, but they, they'll get over it. You know, just like you had to heal and grow through whatever pain and trauma you've experienced or whoever you're attracting, they could be going through this where they are going to have to break someone's heart because we have new edition N E heartbreak, you know, and new edition is like someone is getting heartbroken because someone is going into a new, you know, stage and phase in their life. I just saw 46, 46. So both of you, whoever you are attracting to you, you both have been through some karmic completions and everyone is not going to be happy when they're being the ones left behind, but you have to do what's best for you. Cause as I said, that too deals with the sacral and the sacral is all about moving to the beat of your drum, prioritizing yourself. Yin and yang means a cosmic companion. We started the reading with the number six. That is the lovers. That is yin and yang. We also see two. This is like the two of cups. Giving and receiving to people that are going to give and receive. Remember, I used the analogy of, you know, building. When you're building, you lay the cement, someone lays the brick. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a reciprocal gesture. This is beautiful. And what's on the bottom of the deck? Meditate to get it straight. Why? Because you have a decision to make, whether this is you or the person you're attracting to you. I feel you're attracting to you someone that has been doing some work. They've also had to grow through similar experiences. Same way you had to heal from someone perhaps playing and toying with your emotion. Maybe you are attracting someone who had to heal from being a player in their past, in their past relationships or being someone who's just emotionally unavailable or someone who's very proud, egotistical, someone who was very money, um, you know, money motivated. They weren't really invested in relationships or didn't really open their heart to love. This is not no past love. You know, this could be someone, you know, from your past, but this isn't like a karmic, a toxic karmic coming back for you. I know sometimes the messages can get construed because I'm picking up on so many energies, but I feel this is someone that is coming in intentionally. And with this 44 environment showing up like twice in the past couple of readings, I do feel like spirit is saying, some of you all know who this is. Some of you all may have dated this person. Some of you all may have bumped into this person a couple of times. You may have exchanged phone numbers, communicated with this person, conversed over the phone with this person, but it never was something serious. But I feel whoever this is, they are realizing the feelings that they have for you. What we have is toxic behavior here. That's what someone is getting rid of. What did I say? Someone is getting rid of faulty belief systems, ideologies, habits, and behaviors. <laughs> toxic behaviors. This is what's leading to the completion of this, this vicious cycle. So whatever this toxic 
you know, situation is, this toxic behavior, this could allude to the fact that someone, you know, was in a relationship that it was just constantly, you know, drama, you know, constant drama, constant arguments, constant tension, no trust, you know, like feeling like you are in a relationship by yourself because the person is not emotionally available. It's like, so what's the point? So this is like that toxic behavior. This is why there's a completion because someone knows their, their worth and this is how they're getting to the conclusion of everything is because they're meditating to get it straight. They're taking the time to go within. They're taking the time to, you know, listen to their higher self, consult with their higher self. And that's the, uh, that's the answer is, is like, okay, it's time to wrap this cycle up. What's underneath that? I'm curious. And it says, I got played by, um, I got played for boo-boo the fool. See? So someone from the past could be trying to come back um, and convince someone because we had please don't go boys to men. Someone's trying to convince someone that they have matured. But, you know, you will know if someone is apologetic or remorseful because you'll see a change in their behavior. But if someone is coming back with the same old game, just talking, but you don't see no change in the actions, that, that should have definitely, uh, you know, let you know, be an alarm, a red flag that someone is just coming back trying to play games and distract you, you know. It says your biggest fans are those up seething at your ascension. So someone could literally be just sitting back watching you grow and they want to come in and derail you. So you just, you have to be mindful because as I said, I feel like you're being aligned with your divine person and spirit is telling you, trust your intuition. We started the reading with the number six and that six is your first eye. That six represents your discernment. So you have to trust what's in your gut. You're Right. But this is your reading, beloveds. Definitely, definitely a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. As I said, this is the light side. We're going to do some shadow work right um, next. Uh, but thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. And if you enjoyed the reading, definitely, please. This is a reciprocal effort. Please show the love, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you feel the messages resonate. And if you like the way I read, if you are interested in booking a spiritual consultation, go into the description box. It will take you to my Etsy shop and you can book your spiritual consultations there. But thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Yo, remember, go outside in nature tomorrow. Turn your phones off, your devices, your TVs, everything. Turn it off. Don't listen to that signal. Don't listen to that frequency. Go outside in nature. I don't care if it's cold, if it's raining. They might try to manipulate the energy where it's raining outside. Get out of the house. Just go outside, put on a rain jacket, and just be outside in nature. Take an umbrella, whatever you got to do. Just go sit in nature. But thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Peace.